attorneys for Shayna Hubers have begun their effort to try to paint their client as an abused girlfriend who had to shoot Ryan Poston in self-defense. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live in Newport with the new information. Tom. Well, the first defense witness was Shayna Huber's mother, Sharon. She described meeting Ryan Poston for the first time, how he wouldn't look her in the face, how there were conditions inside the condominium she called nasty, and how there were guns visible, and that made her fear for her daughter's safety. Now, but much of the testimony of Sharon Huber's focused on October 12, 2012, the day Ryan Poston was shot. She got a call from Shayna early in the morning, and it sounded like she was scared. Sharon drove to Highland Heights, tried to get her daughter to the emergency room for a sore shoulder, but never said what caused that problem. They parted that afternoon. Sharon went to a relative's house in Xenia and then told defense attorney David Mejia about a shocking phone call she got at 8.50 p.m. that night. You must follow my direction and not repeat what Shana said, but I want you to describe her voice, just the tone of her voice, what you heard of her voice. She was hysterical, terrified, in shock. Um, beside herself. She was, she was a mess. Now, Hubers told her daughter to immediately call 911. In court, again, she wasn't allowed to say what prompted the emotion from that call. Back on the stand today, this time for the defense, Highland Heights Police Chief Bill Birkenauer talking about conditions in that condominium as the defense tries to lay out the emotional stress that Ryan Poston was supposedly under at the time this all went down. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Newport.